Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Subnautica Below Zero. Last time we left off, we were over here in the, the heat vent thing. I still would love to try Reaper's Wine Glass. Uh, alright, I'm gonna have to go in and read what the hell is up with that, because that sounds spook. Uh, yeah, last time we saw, there's a, there's a Leviathan up there, I'd still love to scan the dude, but I'm just... Stasis Rifle, man. Alright. Indigenous life forms, flora, exploitable. Reaper's wine glass is an unusually oversized single-celled organism made of three parts. The rhizoid or foot-like root system beneath the soil, the stalk, and the cap. Its single nucleus is located in the rhizoid. This means that if the bulbous cap is removed or devoured by aquatic fauna, it will slowly grow a new cap. Why does it say you're exploitable? Hey, are you new? You look new. An arrow ray. Please don't go towards the Leviathan. Did I actually scan it? Or did I not finish in time? I didn't finish it in time. Well, caloric in intake is recommended. The discus fish would be good. Can I just drop you guys here? No. Gonna have to. Let's let's re let's just release you so I can finish scanning you too. There we go. And now let's cook you. There we go. Big guy needs to stay over there. I don't want nothing to do with big guy. He needs to stay away. All right. So cook. And I also have the discus fish, which apparently I can just eat right now, but I'm gonna cook it. Uh, go away. This is my personal space. Oh god, is he coming? Screw it, you guys. Screw it. We're brave, aren't we? Uh... I don't know if I can swim fast enough to get away from him if he starts chasing me is the thing. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> I keep baiting people with like, I'm gonna do it, he's gonna do it, he's gonna do it, and then I'm like, no, 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 I wimp out. Um... You just stay over there, friend. What made you get closer to me? Because I noticed you got closer to me. Notice you got closer to me, was it my lights? Might have been my lights. All right, um, discus fish, drop. Come here, you. I need sustenance and you're apparently worth a lot. 18 and some water, sure. <sighs> bang, 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 eat it. You know what? Screw it. Come on, big boy. What you got for me? I would like to scan you. Come here. Come here, you big bastard. Yeah, you see me. You see me, you do. You're coming to munch. Oh god, you might actually get me! Huh? Uh, uh. Scan it! Scan it! No, keep scanning! Keep- what? Why are you not still scanning? Ah, oh, come on! Damn it! <laughs> I got so close! It didn't actually one-hit me, but the scanning stopped, I'm guessing because I wasn't close enough to its face. I'm guessing you gotta be close to its face to actually get the scan, but it doesn't one-hit me, so that's... ...good knowledge to have. Unfortunately, I don't have an aid kit, so I'm a little bit low on health now. Uh, so that maybe wasn't the best idea? But hey, we lived. We lived. I was just tired of baiting everyone. Being like, oh, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, and then not doing it. So, I thought I would just say screw it and do it. Might not have been the best idea, though. Alright, so what do we all do we have here? Thermal plant, thermal plant, god, a lot of, a lot of thermal plant. You know what, I'm gonna grab it just for the titanium. I'm gonna grab it just for the titanium. Okay, so those guys don't one-hit me. That is good news. The hell was that? Uh, that's good news that those guys don't one-hit me. Because that means... Uh, I can probably successfully escape them if I ever need to. Where'd you go, dude? There you are. 
I hear noises down there, and I don't like the noises that I'm hearing down there. I don't like the noises that I'm hearing down there at all. Is that a... Okay, I thought that was a big fishy. I'm hearing something growling, though. That might just be the... Big jellyfish boy? What are you? You're another discus fish. Maybe it's just the growling from that stuff. <clears throat> from the heat vents. Okay, so there we go. We got more food again. I wish some of this food healed me. Now let's enter the sea truck. And go down. Wait. Oh geez, I've lost my orientation here. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's turn these lights on so everybody can see. There's some uranite right there, ow. Hmm. This looks worth investigating. Yes, hello? Oh, we deep. Oh, we deep. Oh, that's a... Is that the... That's the same one I found before, isn't it? That's why there's all these thermal plant things here. Yeah, so we're, we're in the same area we were before, but... Can I go deeper, I wonder? Because I would like to go deeper. If possible. Okay, that was a noise that scared me. I'm sorry. Well, we got more ruby. We're getting a lot of resources by being down here, at least. I would just like to see if this links up to anywhere else, potentially. Just gonna pick up some more of this uranite. And... bang. That's an interesting thing. Over there. Okay, what, what about you? Why do, why do you say exploitable in the thing? When you're not exploitable. Usually exploitable means you can do s get some kind of resource from it, but that doesn't seem to be the case for that, so maybe it's just mislabeled. Maybe it's just mislabeled. Alright, into the sea truck. Let's get down here and even out. So we can uh, put some stuff away. Yep. Bunch of uranite and rubies. Bunch of titanium, one lithium, and some uranite. Alright, so. What are we doing? What are we doing? There's an artifact 500 meters that way. There's a body cache that way. This one's even closer, though. I say we go towards this. I just. Gotta not get roasted by fire. Which is... Easier said than done, I like to think. Um... We might not even be able to access that from this particular spot. Yeah, we might have to... We might have to leave this, like, crater go up. I think I'm good on uranite for now, so I think we're going to avoid uranite. There's big boy. Fortunately, I don't think I've healed enough to be able to go try and scan him again now. So that's unfortunate, but whatever. Alright, that's an artifact. That's an artifact. Let's get away from big boy wherever he is. Um, I think that's him. Okay, you're, yeah, right down here. Let's see if we can get down there. Somehow. There's big boy. Hi, big boy. If I had an aid kit, I would totally just heal up and then go run at him again and finish scanning him, but fortunately I don't have an aid kit with me. And I haven't found an 8-kit fabricator either, and there wasn't one in my drop pod, I don't believe. So, that's a bit unfortunate. What is that? Okay, nothing bad. It just looks like a brute shark, I think. Alright, further down, there's a 
quartz thing that I could mine if I had a... What did I just hit? Sorry. Oh yeah, you're just a brute shark. Okay, the artifact is down here, apparently. So let's head down. Oop. Preferably not running into literally everything on the way. Alright, am I safe down here? There's a brute shark. I think I'm safe right here. Alright, uh... Some lithium. More uranite, why not? Uh... What else we got here? Rubies I will take. Uranite, I mean, sure. We got so much of it, but we probably need a lot of it, right? Hmm. Alright, yeah, and it says the artifact is right down there. So we're pretty close to that. I can't scan you? Oh, I can. Tornado plates. Alright. We'll check that out. That's gold, I believe. Is that some nickel? No, that's lithium. And more uranite, of course. And rubies. Yeah, chance of silver. I do need silver, so... Might as well grab that. Alright. So, back up here and let's check out the data bank. Fauna. Herbivores small. Arrow ray. A relatively small ray species capable of fast evasive maneuvers. Feeds on plankton. Defends on its head. Form an isosceles triangle, which it can tilt to perform super fast unpredictable maneuvers. Sharp forward fin tips are capable of spearing attackers who manage to catch up. Mostly harmless. C. Tornado plates. Tornado plates are an underwater mushroom with an inner cage surrounded by swirling chitin structure. The mushroom's wildly unusual morphology is not currently understood. Yeah, that is an interesting visual. Very interesting visual. Yeah, that stuff. The booster tank. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Use oxygen to give a speed boost. That'd be useful, but I'd much rather have the high capacity one, I, I think. <coughs> All right, so down we go. Even further into the deep dock. Uh, sorry. Maybe watch out next time. I'm just joking. I don't want to be mean to the small fishies. They're having just the hardest, a hard, as hard a time surviving down here as I am. Uh, okay, let's get out of here. I think we're mostly safe here. This big guy gives protection. I think. I was wondering if I could examine your, like, little stalks here. Doesn't seem like I can, though. What are you, another thermal? Of course. Of course you're another thermal plant fragment. I mean, we'll take you, because we have space in the sea truck. Alright, let's go down here. It's pretty far down, actually. But it's another alien thing. Another thermal plant fragment. What do we got? Let's just pull this bad boy out for now, why don't we? I'm actually getting quite far away from my uh, sea truck. Maybe we should bring this down here. Bring it down here. Yeah, I'm, on I'm only at 78 oxygen. I think I want to go ahead and try and get it down here. Maybe I can't. Okay, well, never mind. We won't we won't bring it down there, but I'll just go faster this time. So let's not waste time grabbing stuff on the walls. Let's just go down here, scan everything we can, and get back up before we suffocate slash drown. Okay. With this artifact, I am again able to trace the imprint of my people. They survived for a time, but then their presence becomes faint. New technology acquired. Damn it. I was, wo I was wondering if that was going to happen. If I was going to cut him off. I hope, I hope he didn't have more to say. Let me, uh, once we get back to the, uh, once we get back to the sea truck, I'll check 
What was that? That was a different noise for sure. Okay, I think we can safely get out of here. There's some diamond I could mine there. But unfortunately, I still don't have a prawn suit. Should really see if I can find some more of those Altera sites. Right now, I'm kind of just blindly exploring, but... I feel I really need to prioritize that. Alright, we're good. Alright, and... Uh, let's even out here so I can actually stand. We can put some stuff away and do some light reading to calm the nerves. We're also running out of space in here. So might be time to head back. All right, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> Sorry for time, then their presence becomes faint. Okay. Yep. All right, so nothing really new there. You didn't have more to say. Inactive volcano detected nearby, yeah. All right, we also got ion batteries and ion power cells, which is good. Yeah, that's useful. Okay, um, most of my stuff is full, but let's, uh, let's see here. What else? Is there anything else we're close to? That one's far. That one's sorta close. That one's kinda close. Maybe? I don't know. We'll, we'll leave. Because I have a lot of shit to dump off. Um. So yeah. Let's just get out of here. I will come back out later to potentially find more things. Leave me the hell alone, Lily Paddler. Don't want shit to do with you. Uh, where's that? Where's my refuge? There's my refuge. You guys just leave me alone and I'll leave you alone, alright? Don't want nothing to do with you. This is where Big Boy was, wasn't it? I believe so. <laughs> I'm not sure, everyone, but I believe this is where Big Boy was at. <laughs> Loud asshole. <laughs> it's like he was saying, hey, I'm right here. Yes, please excuse me. You got in my way. It was really your fault. What is that noise? Guess it's just that stuff? It reminds me of the sound that plays, uh, when you're around the aurora and stuff's falling. Oh, hey, big guy. Again, another one of you. Ain't this close to the island, too? Or this close to the surface? Uh, I guess I'm not that really high up. Huh. Oh, well. Those guys aren't that scary. Like I said, they don't one-hit me. I'm pretty sure Reapers, like... They, they just bop you and you're dead? Pretty sure that's the case? That's the one I've already looked at, right? I believe so. Yeah, I believe that's the one I've already investigated. Although I wonder about this. No way. Hey! Stupid jerk. <laughs> just like shooing these things, these giant monsters away. Like they're a dog. Flashing my light at him. Hey, you quit that. Unfortunately, I can't squirt them with water like I can my cats. Because I don't think it would have very much effect on something that lives in the water. Also, I don't know how actually propelling water at something with a water gun would work when we're already underwater. Should just get one of the... What are, what are those things that I compared to the archer fish that were in here? The things that shoot, like, highly pressurized water at predators to get them to go away. Gosh, all these tiny little things just bumping into me. Bunch of jackasses. I should see if I can make aid kits. Because I feel like I need them. Especially if I'm going to be trying to literally dive into a leviathan's mouth to scan it. Alright. Out of here. Uh, oh yeah. Let's 
just go put you in the docking bay. Let's just go put you in the dock. The moon pool, actually, is what it's called. But I like to think of it as a docking bay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you very much. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and put all of our junk away. Way too many crystals. Hmm. Way too many crystals. I got, like, a ton of uranite that I didn't grab from the, uh, thingy because I am very smart. I am very smart. Uh, there we go. Okay. Give me all my junk. I just need to start, like, breaking this stuff down a bit more into stuff that's actually usable instead of stuff that I'm just storing. And that's it. I... yeah! I love doing that. I always feel so cool. Do like a little dolphin jump with my, uh, sea glide. That's what all the cool kids do. Alright, so... Uh, out here. Crystals. Yep, we are... Overflowing on Ruby and Uranite. What, what can we use it for? It's a booster tank, which, as I've mentioned, I don't super care about, but maybe it's technically an upgrade, so I might want to use it. It might technically be an upgrade. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, and yep, you two are new. And what about this? Yeah, oh yeah, this. Ion cube, gold, silver ore, and lithium. Well, we can use some of this gold. I certainly would like a ion battery. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, sure, why not? Um, and we'll put it... What would probably be... Probably be the most useful in my sea glide. There we go. We have a spare battery now. That. All that stuff. Uh... There we go, we got an ion battery in that. Probably be cool to make a power cell for my thing, but I, I don't know if I just want to start using um, these ion cubes willy-nilly. So let's just put you in alien shit. I do have a lot of them, though. Alright, and titanium. You can go in there. Lead, salt, and lithium. And, yeah, do I have something I can use diamond for? Enameled glass? But I need quartz for that. I need quartz for that. And a lot of it. Can we just find a bunch of quartz real quick? Because, I, I mean, I know I'm going to need enameled glass at some point, so if I could just make a bunch of enameled glass to kind of free up inventory space, I would like to. I would very, very much like to do that. Uh, Alright, I think we're good. That's enough for, like, a few pieces of glass, at least. Yeah, this will help get rid of some of my... <clears throat> some of my ruby and some of my lead. Which will be useful. So, give me that. Alright, and let's make a bunch of glass. Boom. Oh yeah, and I need diamonds too. Alright, so crystals, we need diamonds. Yeah, I got a ton of diamonds, jeez. There we go, enameled glass. And we can move this now to the refined materials section. Which will be useful. Because we have a lot of space in here. There, and that... I mean, it freed up four spaces in here. Still, still not as much as I would like. Uh... Hmm. I'm gonna make you titanium and quartz. And... Quartz. Okay, and yeah, we're gonna move the quartz over there because crystals is starting to fill up. And your quartz is a very basic resource. So, we got a little bit of extra room squeezed out from that. If only there was something I could just break diamonds down into. Uh, but unfortunately there is not. Yeah, we still don't know how to make the parallel processing unit. 
I just need to go to another, uh, whatchamacallit area. Uh, another Altera place, but I don't know where they're at. Oh, that's how you make a first aid kit. Fiber mesh. Oh, we have a few of those. Let's make some first aid kits, why don't we? <clears throat> Sounds like a good idea to me. Alright. And... Yeah, we're pretty good. Don't, don't I still have stuff hanging out over here, though? Don't I still have stuff hanging out over here, though? Hello. Empty, empty. Oh. One uranite. Uh... God, I have way too much uranite. I have way too much uranite. Oh my god, there's so much. I mean, it's... It's mostly going to be used for a nuclear power plant, which I can't make yet. And I would really like to be able to make. Because it would put out so much more power than this thing does. And I have all the stuff I need for the reactor rods, but I can't make those yet either. Which would get rid of all this uranite, if I could make reactor rods. Oh well. Um... Yeah... Yeah. Mm -hmm -hmm. We're just full, aren't we? Uh Let's let's just make a uh little uh overflow, I guess. I'm gonna have another overflow. Wait, what is that? Oh the recycle shrine. Recycles items into their constituent parts. Oh yeah, I forgot I got that. Yeah, that was the new bit of alien technology I unlocked before. Recycles items into their constituent parts. I mean, that sounds useful. It sounds useful. I don't really have anything I want to recycle right now, though, so... Uh, what I do want to build is a wall locker. So, let's build a wall locker right here. And let's just have this be like... Um, is there is there a crystal I don't have a ton of? Yeah, let's do... Sulfur. Let's just have you live Seek there. You so I have more space here. Not a lot, though. Maybe I should just have that be the rubies. Maybe I should just have that be the rubies. Yeah, let, let's just... Let's just do that. Sorry, this is probably super, super exciting to watch, but this is going to bother me if I don't do it. I need to get some of these out of my inventory, too. There. Alright, and yeah, just give me all the rubies. The rubies are going to live over here for right now. That way we can fit everything else in the other one. Alright, so boom, 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 boom. Cool. Good enough. Good enough. I want to do more stuff this episode. Uh, we'll, we'll worry about the Recyclotron some other time. I don't, like I said, I don't think it has anything that I really want right now, so I'm not too futzed about it. Um, so yeah. There's not really anything I have that I want to, uh, break down. Let's go ahead and get in Quasi. Quasi Junior. Um, can you attach to my butt, please? Thank you. I need you to attach to my butt. Alright, so... Repair. Wait, why am I swimming? That's weird, I was inside this thing, but I was swimming. I think that bug happened sometimes before. I think the other... The LP that I watched play this, um... He constantly had a problem where he would be swimming inside of his Cyclops, which was interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so. Now, data bank. Logs and community maps. Altera facilities. There we go. Um, Delta Station. Mission HQ. That must be this? The Phi Robotics Center, Engineering and Robotics, Outpost Zero, Omega Lab, Biological Research, and 
I'm unfamiliar with what a lot of these symbols are, but that's Delta Station, I'm fairly sure. So right off of Delta Station, there's the Phi Robotics Center. So I feel like I should go there. I feel like I should go there. So let's try that out. Why don't we? Uh, maybe I should go ahead and um, build a uh, beacon as well. I can also add the fabricator module to well, my sea truck, but uh, I'd prefer just to wait on that for right now. I probably do need some sustenance though. Probably do need some sustenance. So give me this hoop fish. Uh, but... Alright, so beacon. Beacon, beacon, beacon. That's what I came in here to make. Which is just titanium and... Yup. I just want to be able to mark this place if I do actually find it. So, yeah. Let's go over there and let's see if we can find something. Why don't we? I don't think I've been to the Fire Robotics Center before. So... Yeah. Alright, Delta Station. Okay. So, yeah, and there's the mine. Hey, wait, was that the Fire Robotics Center? Wait, somebody told me... Yeah. Somebody told me, um... The Copa Mining Site. That might be what this is. That might be what this is. Yeah, I think that... I think that's what this is. That's the Copa Mining Site. Because someone mentioned that that's usually pretty hard for people to find. Um... So let's go... To Delta. And then... Let's go... East of Delta? Like, kind of southeast, I guess? Yeah, so we're at Delta, and kind of southeast of Delta is uh, some other place, which has a bunch of green shit around it. I'm not really sure what that means, but there's apparently some stuff there. I hope that's not the pilot's last known location. That would be unfortunate. That would be unfortunate. But it might be the case. But it might be the case. Hmm. Well, there wasn't... Really, the only thing there was her base that I saw, though. So there must be something else here that I haven't seen, right? Must be. That's... That's the ship that wrecked. Hmm. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep heading southeast, I guess. I'm just gonna keep heading southeast past Marguerite's place here. Because maybe the reason Marguerite set up shop here was to go to the Fire Robotics lab or whatever. Maybe. I don't know, man. Some alien technology stuff over here. What are you? That's a Reaper Shark. Or it's Reaper Shark. Squid Shark. Go away, dude. Out of here. Not dealing with your ass. Alright, what is this? What is this down here, huh? Over here. We can go inside this place. Is there a point? There is something in there. Get in there. Go. Just dodge the stupid, like, branches or whatever. I'll get out. I'll get out of the damn sea truck. Is that what you want? Alright. It's actually pretty lit up in here. I don't even need that. Uh, Alright, so what are you? You look like a fairly new installation. Multi-purpose room glass dome. That's nice. Okay, I like that. 
new blueprint synthesized. Is someone actually living here? Because a range of data that might help with the construction of a new storage medium. You must continue to investigate. Okay, we got some of those antenna plants. Oh, cool! That restores health. Nice. Well, give me some more of that. We only need one to actually plant, so I'll just keep one on me. Alright, what do you got? Swim charge fins. Wirelessly charge your hold, to hold tool while you swim. New That's what I always ran with personally. It was just nice. Okay, this is Omega Lab. Omega Lab. Aha! Biological research. Classified. Okay, cool. So we found it. Yeah, so those green things are the lily pads. Got it, got it. There's more of these things over here that I am going to grab and consume. There. Cool, cool. So we did manage to find it. What is... There was something to scan here, wasn't there? Bulkhead. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, tech, bulkhead door. Alright, let's light it up in here. Something. Oh god. Oh god, I accidentally forgot about oxygen. Uh... Quasi? Because you're stuck between branches. Alright, there we go. Cool. Well, let's get back in here. Uh... Yeah, still not seeing anything too crazy. I want to see... I, I don't know what that is. Can we please get a stasis rifle here? Vending machine. Not what I want, but still something, I guess. New blueprint synthesized. There's a nameplate. Different one. Database entry unlocked. Ooh, framed art. Thank you. Danielle's bed. Got a new bed. Okay, cool. So I'm, I'm glad we found this place at least. This is new picture. Oh, is that your girlfriend? Yeah! Ooh, aromatherapy lamp. This is Sam's- or not my- not your girlfriend, but Sam's girlfriend. Synthesized. Sam's girlfriend, yes. The thing she was like, ah, I think I got a date or something, and then she was like, no, that's stupid. I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Because she was doubting herself. Uh, there was something I swear that I could have examined right here, but now I'm not seeing it? Weird. Weird. Uh, another nameplate. Single bed. Uh huh. Postcard. Wish you were here. Uh, a PDA. Uh, another framed art. Uh, okay, so before we examine more of this, let's go outside. And, uh, let's read a bit. So what do we got here? Altera. So, Vinzart. Uh, uh, Danny's not here, I'm afraid. Uh, that's okay. It's you I wanted to see. What's that you're working on? Just a sketch for a piece I want to make. <sighs> I'm slacking off. Don't tell the boss lady. <laughs> I won't. It's beautiful. What is it? I'm doing a series inspired by bacteria. Mutant beauty. Life, death, risk. You know, that kind of thing. What's this one? It looks like Harab, but... Vin, is this a mutation? It's just an art project. You know you're doing that thing with your neck, like when you're trying to bluff an alien intruder? <sighs> Alright, fine. Fine. I'm bad at lying. Are you mutating Karab bacterium from the frozen Leviathan? Here? In this lab? Please, don't ask me any more questions. I don't think I need to. Hmm. So, we have a Kara mutation on our hands, which... Sounds bad. Wish you were here. Hey, Tiger, I miss you a lot and can't wait for both of our assignments to be over with. Deltar 6 has been an amazing opportunity. I never tire of watching the sunrise and sunset over the black sands of the Karizian Desert. It's beautiful. The only way that it could be better is if you were here. Loving you across the stars... Irene. Dr. Danielle Valenti. You're cute. 
Senior scientist, biochemistry, reports to Emmanuel, current project, bacterial analysis. Personality is a, a series of numbers and letters. Vin. Bi junior scientist, biochemistry, reports to Danielle. Okay, and new tech, bulkhead. Designed to separate compartments while reinforcing structural integrity with its solid titanium frame, the door can be opened and closed to seal off compartments in the event of fire or flooding or simply for privacy. <laughs> Uh, alright, so... Swim charge fins... Bulkhead... Multi-purpose glass dome... Bunch of new beds, the Recyclotron... Just trying to clear these bad boys out of vending machine... And an aromatherapy lamp. Cool. Alright, let's go explore the rest of that stuff in there. I like this song that's currently playing. Ooh, oh, I missed a PDA in there. Well, let's go grab that. Almost missed that. Flirting? Ooh. Maybe that's the thing that I saw that I was like, did I miss something I could scan? Maybe that was it. Alright, it doesn't look like I'm missing anything in here. Uh. Okay, there's some stuff in there. There's a PDA right there. A counter. Focus. The task revolution. Okay, another PDA. God, there's so much PDAs. Ooh, water filtration machine. This is what I need. Glad I found this. Investigation report. Mega laboratory. Cool. Command share. I'll take that. God, there's so much stuff to scan in here. Uh, another aromatherapy lamp. Control room. Designs. Operational hub for observing and managing a habitat power, structural integrity, and aesthetic design. Ooh. Well, that sounds neat. So I can change the color of my habitat? I don't think you could do that in the first one, but maybe I'm just misremembering. New blueprint synthesized. Okay, nothing going on there, really. Let's go back out for some oxygen again real quick. And we can read our new things that we got. Yes. Okay, so... Flirting? I challenged your spy pangling to a foot race earlier. Because you got tired of losing to me? Ouch. <laughs> what if I've been letting you win so I could see you smile? Cute. But I don't believe it. There are easier ways to make someone smile. Easier than losing a foot race? Oh, I think you're a woman with many talents. What are you implying? The artwork that appeared in my lab the other day. Oh, that. A study in Parhelion Red. I assume you had something to do with that. That depends. Do you like it? It's beautiful. Like the person who gave it to me. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were flirting with me. Do you know better? I... don't know what I know anymore. Not when you're looking at me like that. Oh, you two horny lovers. Cute. Investigation notes. Omega Lab was first breached by heavy impact. Perhaps from a sea track modified with some sort of battering implement. A localized explosive charge was then released and detonated from a distance. Lab equipment was damaged to the point of inoperability, and all live specimens were destroyed. No personnel was injured. Samples have been collected for analysis to determine whether any bacteria escaped. It is, however, unlikely. The heat of the charge should have boiled everything within a 10 meter radius. I wonder if that was Marguerite that did that? Interesting. Alexis Rydell, independent investigator, transgov, first Altera. Focus attack task revolution. The key to total uninterrupted focus on what's important is the ability to unfocus on the unimportant. The ultimate goal of concentration is not to block out surrounding environments, but to maintain total focus in spite of them. They will be there. You must not. You must be not only better than them, but decoupled from them. You've heard of multitasking. Now get ready for monotasking. Studies have shown that humans, even the most capable among us, cannot focus on two activities at once. This is true. To the extent required to complete them optimally and thoroughly. Multitasking is an illusion to make you think you're getting more done, when in reality, you're most likely neglecting one task or the other. Monotasking rejects the notion that humans should ever be- should even bother trying to multitask, as not only does it hinder productivity, but increases stress and even guilt when it doesn't yield higher producti productivity. 
You, O oh expert task revolutionary, have no time for systems that do not work. So let's explore monotasking in the next chapter. More in the next chapter. It's true, you can't, you know, completely focus on two things, but you're kind of ignoring one, doing the other. I do this all the time. It's, I, I personally think it's still fine. As long as you're not doing something too incredibly like, something you need to focus for. Control room. The control room is an essential part of outpost engineering, created in response to environments with limited energy generation options. Centrally located 3D console provides an overview of current base layout. Interactive projection toggles power in individual rooms for finite energy control. Detailed wall-mounted display audits and discloses hull stability and energy consumption. Customizing station controls identifying base details including name and exterior colors. Atomic clock reports pinpoint local time. Filtration system draws water unfit for human consumption from an external source, atomically splits it into, more con into its constituent parts, and outpo uh, outputs consumable liquid water and salts, while disposing of any harmful byproducts. It can be built in any compatible habitat module, but has substantial power requirements. The Altera water filtration system. Any liquid into pure, refreshing, pH-balanced water? Yes, sir. Any liquid. So I can piss in it. That is basically what they're telling me right there. So let's go ahead and get rid of these. Thank you kindly. All right, and we're gonna pop right back in and grab what I assume is the final bit of this stuff. There might be like a whole facility though, because this is this says it's a lab. I guess it could just this be this. This lab looks like it was intentionally sabotaged. That it does. That it does. Okay, those batteries are just dead. Ooh, that's a power charger, though. Yes! Power cell charger. Yes! Need that. Report enzyme mutation study. Nuclear reactor! Finally! Got that bad boy. So somebody sabotaged the nuclear reactor, possibly. Um, let's just look at everything and keep an eye to make sure a scan prompt doesn't come up. Coffee machine, what are you? Don't know. Uh, hmm. You're new. Nuclear waste disposal. Might need that at some point. Okay. New blueprint synthesized. Nothing there, nothing there. Nothing there, nothing there. Okay, I think we're good here. I think we're good. I think we found pretty much everything we're going to find here. Just checking everything to be sure. The main thing I need to watch out for is those little upgrade module things, the little stations for that, they always have really, really good upgrades hidden in them. Usually I find in Altera places, but uh, they're also really hard to see. So I always like to keep an eye out for those because they can save you a lot of resources in the future. Alright, so... That laboratory appeared to have been sabotaged intentionally. Do you know what it would have been used for? Look like maybe bacteriology. That's what the equipment was for anyway. Before a fire tornado ran through it, or something. Do you think your sister had something to do with the destruction? I don't know why she would. But the more I see on this planet, the less I know what to think. Who would want to destroy it? Marguerite? <laughs> Like, she clearly does not like Altera. We've studied the first Corral bacteria samples from the specimen. Results are promising. We were able to stimulate rapid multiplication of cells in a controlled environment, resulting in the creation of several different mutations with potentially useful applications. Think of the possibilities. Life-saving treatments, genetic research. It could be a window to understand the evolution of life on this planet. The findings could move us forward by years. We recommend a wider study, using samples collected from a greater variety of sites around the original pustules. We trust you will provide the necessary security to do so. The Leviathan site must be protected. I wonder what Leviathan this is that's been infected. The reactor. I hope it's not something I'm just forgetting from the first game. Uh, I mean, I imagine it wouldn't be like... That final Leviathan that you see? 
Like, uh, spoilers for Subnautica, obviously. The one whose eggs you save and then it dies, but you keep their race going. The one that speaks to you telepathically. Because I think that Leviathan had Kara, or was just about to die, like, naturally. I don't remember. Maybe it's just a Reaper. Nuclear reactor. Renewable energy sources will usually be sufficient for maintaining a small outpost. For everything else, there's nuclear power. Powered by up to four replaceable uranium reactor rods. Do not attempt to replace reactor rods without adequate protection. Do not attempt to overclock the reactor. Nuclear is ideal for energy intensive purposes such as self-sufficient colonies supporting more than 20 people. Industrial outposts operating multiple docks and heavy machinery. Research stations housing live specimens. All right, and with that, we've got quite a few new things. So I'm going to keep these for the blueprint uh, active, the blueprints active, the new ones that I got, just so I can remind myself what I, un what I unlock next time. But yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode off here. I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.